Perhaps I hadn't put enough love and time into the two Cruella DK ones, but now, after some more steps, they print pretty fine in my opinion. Sears and Glück auf, I am Jan. Maybe you have seen my review of a Creality K1, K1 Max, where I unfortunately still had a lot of problems with ringing and ghosting at the end. So I did a few more things. I set the Creality Slicer profile to Creality Hyper PLA instead of Generic PLA. I think that helped a lot. I tightened the screws holding the print pad to the spindles. I made the bed manually levelable and leveled it and tensioned the belts using a different method. Let's start with the belt tensioning. As I sat here at the PC and continue to puzzle over whether or how to eliminate the problem with the ringing, I came across the Reddit post by Panzer Tomate. I really must thank you Panzer Tomate. You are my hero. I didn't came up with the obvious that the spring is too weak for the belt by itself. Panzer Tomate approaches the belt tension differently than Creality describes in its videos. He brings the print head over the center of a print bed, loosens the retaining screws, inserts the adjusting screws, but only one turn, and presses the tensioning screws in for about 2 mm, which tensions the belt more than the springs could. Now tighten the tensioning screws again, start input shaping for both axis and clipper. If you have not yet set this up, you can find top instructions on how to do this in the linked GitHub in the description. With the belt tension this way, the result was much better. From here you can go on with the adjustment screws. You can now tighten these, after loosening the retaining screws of course, until you can see that the retaining screws move and thus loosen the tension of the belt in small steps. Turning the screw in relieves the belt by the way. I have done one turn of the screws, start input shaping measuring in clipper and then a test print. Although this is time consuming, it is a reliable way of achieving the desired result, if you don't want to use a spectrometer. Next I level the bed. Now you will say, hey Jan, that is fixed on the K1. That's right, but on printables you can find an entry on how to change that. To do this, remove the print bed, unscrew the heating plate, take out the spacers, take new silicon spacers about 8 to 9 mm thick, of course I could not find any so I cut some 18 mm in the middle, place them in between, Insert the nuts that previously held everything in place into the knobs on the underside and reattach the bed with longer M4 screws, like 20 to 25 mm ones. Now level the bed and keep readjusting with the screws, leveling, readjusting and leveling until you are satisfied with the result. Tip, work in small steps of like a quarter to half a turn. You need some patience for that. Now tighten the screws on the spindles if they are not snug tight, as it was with my printers. So for all who are just joining in now, I've carried out the following steps in this and the previous video to achieve a good print result for me with the K1 printers. You can find a link to the other video in the description. So I did replace the harder than extruder, fixed the belt tension, made the print bed levelable, got root access to clipper with improved input shaping and bed leveling, adjusted the slicer profile, tightened the screws holding the print bed, cleared the Bowden tube from the chain, raised the lid so that the Bowden tube does not drag against it, and I must say all in all this wasn't not a short journey, but now I am currently really happy with the K1. If Reddit is to be believed, many of the K1s sold in the meantime are already better and require less or no work to achieve a good result. But I insist that if you do not want to go through the steps mentioned, you should really avoid buying a K1, K1 Max at all costs. Maybe you are lucky or maybe not. By the way, there were rumors of a K1C at the Creality booth at Formnext in Frankfurt. Let's see what awaits us there. As always, I hope I was able to help you. It's been a funny journey for me with a K1, but now I'm out. See ya, Jan.